let's go for a ride! You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! Links to get most items mentioned in this video are located at CycleCruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, My Van Stuff. Review on my Bug Out Moto Van 2.0. As far as acquiring this van, I purchased it off of Craigslist. One owner, no accidents. It was on a 10-year lease, well taken care of. Van drives fantastic. Um, so I decided that I wanted to build a van, a stealth RV, that can carry a motorcycle inside and allow me to camp out inside with the motorcycle. It's important to me because I wanted to be able to go anywhere. I wanted to be able to pull in parking lots and blend in and not be seen as a vehicle that's being lived in. I can go anywhere. I can go to any uh, driving fast food places because of the, the size. I can do pretty much anything I want to with this particular setup. All right, without further ado, Let's go ahead and show you the interior. I have the natural LED lighting in here where I can actually dim it down to how much lighting I want. And it also reduces power consumption as well. As you can see, there's lighting on the sides, on the, the walls here. I'll put this bed down in a moment so you can see the lighting on the ribs of the, uh, the van. But when I first got this van, it was com completely bare, empty, absolutely filthy. I cleaned it really good scrubbed it and then I insulated the walls I use quarter inch thick pink foam insulation and in the roof on the sides here and in the back doors and then I put a layer of reflectix over that for aesthetic appeal because it reflects light as you see here it makes it feel bigger than what it is I didn't want to have that coffin feel like so many of the van builds you see on YouTube that has the uh, you know the wood panelings on the side and ceiling but that's not the main reason the main reason why I didn't cover this up is because I need the extra space as you see here I have a 32 inch fold-out LED TV here and that extra space works out perfect with my fold-up bed set up here and this is very easy to clean as well then I put down the bed rug here. This is a flooring specifically made for this model van, the Chevy Express van. They do have them for the Ford O'Connor line and, and trucks. So it varies by model. Um, but what's great about this is that it has a rubber backing behind this like speaker box carpet here. Basically this is a speaker box carpet. Very durable material. Um, it's, very, it's resistant to gasoline, bleach, fuel, which makes it perfect. Uh, for my motorcycle, I, if you know, if I get any oil spills or fuel spills, very easy to clean. Also, it uh, insulates the floor here um, from sound and also from the weather. I like this material so much that I use it on the exterior of my cabinet here. So that way, when I'm walking the motorcycle forward and back in the van, um, when I take it out and put it in the van, that if it scratch, you know, runs up on the side here, I don't have to worry about it scratching the finish. And it's uh, very durable, very easy to maintain. Just take a wet rag and clean it. Looks good. And it's very, very soft. It, the best thing about it is that it's knee friendly. So a lot of you guys ask me, how do you get around in your van? You can't stand up fully, right? Why don't you get you know, a taller van so you can stand up? I tell you guys, you don't need it with this setup. With this bed rug here, I can actually, I'm six foot one. I can actually walk around on my knees comfortably. I'm not hunched over at all. As you can see here, on my knees, very comfortable. And uh, the main reason I really like the, the lower um, roof height is because it allows me to go anywhere. I can go in underground parking. I can go through drive throughs I don't have to worry about clearance issues. And uh, it just looks like any old van. You know, the taller vans kind of stand out more than these basic Chevy Express vans. So... That's the, one of the main reasons I want to stick with the low roof height. Because it's such a small area anyhow, even for tall, you know, the, the tall roof van, you, it's not like you're going to be walking around paces in the van much. It's such a small space. It's not like a big, huge RV where you can comfortably walk around like you're in your house. You know, and Here is the folding bed that I wanted to show you guys. As you can see, this is my Yamaha WR250R. As you can see here, it fits beautifully here in the van with this setup. 
and uh, like I said what makes it all possible is this fold up bed which I'm getting ready to show you in a moment but before I get to that I want to let you know that all the electronics in this van is powered by solar I have 570 watts of monocrystalline power on the roof and the solar panels actually cover up those two roof vents that you see one brings in air and one exhausts air so it keeps the air fresh in here the air is probably fresher in here than it is in your house uh, also I have a carbon monoxide detector there that has never gone off no problems but uh, when I do travel I do have what's called a cycle sack which I did a full review on it, it completely encases this bike it's a cover that completely encases the bike uh, zips in just like a sack uh, and it has in the vents that are on the cover I have covered with charcoal filters and I'll tell you guys I have absolutely no motorcycle smell at all uh, and I you know of course I have the vents you know bringing fresh air in taking uh, air out of here so it stays really really clean smelling in here I have no issues at all I built this cabinet here uh, it has storage underneath as you can see here also I what's new with this setup is I do have cabinet lighting here it's on a switch just to mention I do have a sink here and the gray water that would exit from this sink actually goes down through a tube there that you see that goes through the bottom of the floor of the van so it exits out the bottom of the van I only use biodegradable soaps it's only soap and water basically when I wash my face um, I don't pour any you know there's nothing else that's going down there that's going to uh, you know litter the, the streets or anything but anyways I also have a I made this device here that uh, has a magnet on a magnet on the bottom that allows me to be able to so this has a magnet as well to wash up at the sink and here's a pump water pump flip this switch and I have a seven gallon container here that uh, I hold water that also has a 300 watt electric uh, water heater element that also have a flip switch here that's powered by solar of course uh, but also what's great with this setup is I can take this off and I can take a shower in back of the van here and then when I'm through and this goes on the door close the door bada boom bada bang and this goes back and it keeps it looking nice and clean and I don't have to worry about any dirt debris or mildew get behind a faucet and I can also use this space to put boxes on or whatever in addition to this seven gallon water container here I do have a five gallon container of uh, reverse osmosis drinking water with a hand pump so that way uh, you know I have clean fresh water to drink that's separate from my uh, water that I wash up with or do dishes with also I have a uh, six gallon water container here this is for my backup water supply uh, and what I do with this I actually have a siphon that I can go in public restrooms and siphon water from the faucet uh, so I can get free water anytime I want to also have a butane burner here that I cook my meals and what's awesome with this setup by the way is with this bed here in this position up here I can actually I sit on the bed comfortably and I can cook my meals and I can chop up my vegetables here it's actually more comfortable then when I'm at home cooking where I have to stand up at the counter here I can sit comfortably on this bed which is very comfortable by the way this is a custom uh, RV twin mattress that has memory foam it's really comfortable I tell you I love it and it's the perfect size it's just perfect with the setup but anyways yeah I can cook here I can actually wash up at the sink which I tested last year when I went to Colorado worked out awesome I can do a full body wash here right here in the comfort of the van here sitting on my bed which is really awesome or I could take a shower knock out like a minute shower behind the, uh, the van which I also have a pop-up tent by the way it's like a pop-up shower tent um, that pops up literally in like like 10 seconds this is a, a 50 quart refrigerator made by ARB it has a Dan Foss compressor 
which is the best in the business. Um, this refrigerator wasn't cheap, but I'll tell you guys, you want to go with the best. You know, it's very important that you, you know, that you have your nutrition. Here's my old refrigerator here, which actually fed me for about a week last year. And I have currently had this as a freezer. Uh, so this should provide me for a good least two weeks of food here. Also here, I wanted to mention I do have added this. This is a new mod, uh, dual fan here. Uh, these are, this can be moved around here, up and down, side to side. Definitely need that on hot days. Like I said, here is the, here is the, the vents. One brings in air, one exhaust air. And I tell you, it's really nice having these on while you sleep because it kind of drowns out any noise that's going on outside and it kind of lulls you to sleep. I sleep really well in the van. But like I said, the uh, solar panel actually is covering up these two vents. So I can actually turn this on while it's raining outside, which I wasn't able to do last year. Here, uh, this cabinet I built. Uh, very simple. It's cost me like 50 bucks at Lowe's and materials. And I just added recently, I added a lighting system in here as well, make it easier. Um, as you can see, it can fit the uh, microwave here, which I will not be using on my trip. I'm going to take this out, and this is where all my canned stuff and uh, bread and other stuff that I'm going to put in here. All the, This is going to be my food uh, part, part here. And uh, here is going to be where I'm going to put my clothes here I added some shoe box, um, clear shoe boxes, storage boxes here so that I can put all my little doodads. Uh, here are my two solar systems. Um, as you can see here, the this is my one that's on 325 watts and it's a 40 amp MPPT solar controller. This one is a 20 MPP, 20 amp MPPT solar controller with uh, and what's powering that is 245 watts and both of them are monocrystalline panels. Okay, this is the 20 amp MPPT solar controller. See how small it is and thin? It's awesome. And this is actually controlling this 155 amp hour battery which fits like an absolute glove here. I have two batteries there in that battery box. Those are two 155 amp hour deep cycle batteries. Safe for indoor use. They do not exhaust toxic fumes. Also have the 40 amp MPPT solar controller here which I did upgrade to. Here's also the battery charger here on the side so if I need to for some reason I have any problems with solar um, I can charge these batteries via you know any AC plug and also like I said it's paired with these MT50 uh, solar meters one for each solar system and like I said there's two separate solar systems the reason I did that so that if one solar system fails, I have a backup. Okay, and down here I have two uh, fuse boxes here, and these are one for each solar system. But also here I have a stereo here powering the six and a half inch speakers, custom boxes. Uh, this is a 10 inch uh, subwoofer here that has a built in amp. Also, I have a four channel amp that's powering the six and a half inch speakers. Also, the uh, six and a half inch speakers that are in the doors up front, which I have switches here where I can use those two uh, door speakers that are that go with the van anytime I want to. And I can turn the uh, front speakers on. This is a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Um, I can use this to power the microwave. Here, by the way, here is the, uh, the cans of butane, which last forever I'll tell you one can of butane lasted me a week cooking a and cooking meals like twice a day on my butane burner okay and this is by the way is a media player that I have uh, that is connected to my 10 inch screen here I have a 10 inch LCD screen here that's actually a backup camera but I can also watch movies or play video games on this as well. And I got a better Pioneer unit that plays DVDs. I have another camera that's on the roof that allows me to view the solar panels as I'm driving. On the dash here, I added some lights here, LED lights. Um, this chair does swivel around. And I have a table, fold-out table, where this will turn into, I can use this as like an office. 
This here I added is a voltage meter for the main power. That's for the 320 watts of power on the 255 amp hour deep cycle uh, batteries. Uh, this is a switch here that I have. I'm gonna. I'll get into that in just a moment. That uh, re turns the recorder on for my surveillance cameras, which I'll get to in just a moment. But also, I bolted in a GPS unit, and it's in such a convenient position. It's, it's awesome when I'm ride driving. Before I lift the bed up, I want to show you underneath does accommodate a bifold ramp that I use to bring the motorcycle in and out. A really awesome ramp, I'll tell you guys. It provides grip even in wet weather. It's got great grip here. I'll include a link to that in the description and comment section of this video as well. All excellent ramp. Highly recommended. You can walk up with your bike comfortably. It even has a sidewall here, so it helps prevent you from you know running the bike off the side of the ramp. Uh, a 32-inch LED TV that uses very little power, by the way, only 40 watts of power. And I'm going to show you my surveillance cameras. I have one camera on each side all around the vehicle four cameras because with this setup you know I have no windows in here so I can't see what's going on you know around the van but now with this surveillance camera which has by the way infrared lights on it so I it has night vision so that I can see what's going on out there in pitch black as you can see it's pitch black out here right now and um, you'll be able to see around the vehicle they have a switch here to turn the cameras on but as you can see See, you can see all around the vehicle. It's pitch black outside, guys. And I'll show you the light, the uh, camera here. Here's the camera. You see the LED, the uh, infrared lights there? The night vision lights. And it really comes in handy, guys, because last year, uh, when I went on my trip, you know, I stayed in some rest stop areas. And, uh, you know, I'd hear some noises that were going on out there, but, you know, I didn't want to open the door because it could be somebody waiting there ready to bust me in the head or something, you know. I also have a small uh, digital antenna on the roof. It has a magnetic base because I can leave it permanently affixed on the roof while I'm driving. And here in Ohio, I I'm able to access 45 channels with this setup. Yeah. She's not my girlfriend. I added a weather station here in the center. This weather station is absolutely awesome. You can add up to eight remote sensors and it actually lights, the screen lights up depending on the uh, temperature outside. So you, you'll get blue when it's cold out, you'll get uh, orange or red when it's really hot. Uh, it's really cool, but what I really, uh, the main reason I got it was actually so that I can put the sensors, one in the refrigerator and one in the freezer and as you can see here there's the refrigerator one that's on at 40 degrees here and the third one here is the freezer at 12 degrees but when it hits below a certain point it'll set an alarm off if it goes too if, if it goes too high which is really awesome also added a uh, soap dispenser and lotion dispenser here which is really nice to have I can you know wash up and shave with this soap a mirror here so that I can shave with paper towel rack self-explanatory now let's go ahead and lift the bed up okay beds lifted up here and I have this latched here to the top very secure like I said I've been I drove driven over 3,000 miles across the country and it's in over a year of driving I had no issues this stays nice and secure up here like I said when it's lifted up here I travel like this so that the TV doesn't swing out and protects the TV but anyways underneath here I have folding legs as you can see there so this allows me to be able to pass the motorcycle through in the van but I have stuff here on the bottom I have I'm able to store my clothes there on those hooks and also I have a laptop storage container here okay. I can put my uh, my MacBook in here, MacBook Pro, and it keeps it nice and protected and out of the way, and uh, helps save space. Also have my quick access tool rack here. Also have one here on the door. If you didn't notice. Also, I forgot to mention with the TV, which I mentioned earlier, I uh, the surveillance cameras. I do have a switch here. That uh, that middle switch there actually activates. A recorder 
a little mini activates a uh, SD recorder as you can see there and I have the remote that I can move anytime I want to and also I have a switch here that will activate the recorder so I can activate this, the recording switch to re, it'll record video all around the vehicle I can flip that on the fly while I'm driving so if I see some out there on the road that I wanted to record I can do so or if I'm back here I can flip the switch and it'll turn on the recorder also have um, custom made screens here that go on via velcro I don't know if you can see there this attaches via velcro here so I have one for the side door and one for the rear and this allows me to have cross ventilation without any bugs coming in which is something that I really wish I had last year when I took my trip okay and then I have the portable toilet that comes out uh, I tell you I, I've used this my whole time out on my trip last year I just put in a uh, garbage bag and I put kitty litter in there take a crap in it then I put uh, some more kitty litter in there completely wipes out the smell tie the bag up and then I throw it in the garbage also have a folding table there that I mentioned earlier that I use in conjunction with my chair that turned around or I use it with this uh, this chair here that folds out and I can set the table and chair here right here in the middle as you can see I have nice space here what's awesome about this setup is that I can still use this van as a cargo van as you can see here I've, I can bring in big sheets of plywood I can put boxes on top of here so and it just gives me still access to a lot of space here with this van I'll tell you that the space optimization that I did with this fan this van is absolutely phenomenal I this came out beyond my dreams guys but anyways there's the pop-up shower behind there also have a buddy heater here that works off of propane the small propane canisters and that heats the van up really nice you put it on low and that sucker will last about a good four or five hours and I do have uh, awning that uh, unfolds it's right here along the back side and it rolls out of the bag and it has retractable legs and I can actually turn the uh, awning into a, a room I did purchase the three wall set that doesn't have a floor but they they do offer where you can turn it into a complete tent with floor and everything if you want to I opted for just the three wall set also I forgot to mention here that I do have a uh, low tire pressure sensor here that uh, you flip that on and there's uh, wireless air caps on the tires so that uh, which correspond with this head unit and it'll tell you exactly what your PSI is for each tire and if it ever if you have a slow leak it'll give you a warning uh, tone also want to let you know I do have blackout privacy curtains here I have this you know on a bow here remove these strings and this will slide across completely uh, blocking out the rear of the van like I said, it, it completely blocks out all the light. It's absolutely awesome. Also, I do have custom made shades that I made that covers up the side windows and the front window. This is a 12 volt vacuum. This is, I tell you guys, if you're gonna get an inexpensive 12 volt vacuum, this is the one to get. It actually sucks up really good. I actually just had clean the floor before I uh, did this video. Plug it in, uses very little power and it sucks pretty good and it comes with attachments like I said I include links to everything in the description and comment section of the video or go to my website cyclecruiser.com click on uh, my van stuff on the menu tab in case of any uh, fires quick you know I have quick access here to this uh, aerosol can uh, fire retardant I can spray it out right on the fly or I also have a fire extinguisher right here on the side here driving with the motorcycle strapped in as you see where the passenger seat would normally be it's strapped down to the other uh, seat bolts I don't know if you can see that down there and I have three straps I have one on the uh, passenger peg bracket one on the handlebar and one on the fork on the other side and uh, actually even with the cycle sack encasing this motorcycle I can still clamp everything up and the dash acts as a, uh, a wheel stopper as you can see this this motorcycle isn't going anywhere 
and strapped, strapped in nice and stable. So the estimated total cost for the van build, I'd say roughly $10,000. That includes $3,000 for the van and roughly $7,000 for the main build, electronics and stuff. That doesn't include all the little carry-on trinkets. Uh, you can do this build for a lot less just depending on how cheap you get the van. I'd say the build is probably no more than a few thousand bucks, but I just went overboard for fun. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.